Nork Vidabolb was born a half-goblin in Manchester, 1993, on a Tuesday. His family emigrated from Scandinavia to Eastern Germany in the early 19th century, before escalating interspecies tensions saw them uproot once more and settle in Manchester, in the north of England. So I don't really have much of a family anymore. I have an estranged brother, Claglac, but not sure if he ever made it to Ecuador. Or even Wigan. So when I was 14, I found out that I was a half goblin. Over time, the invidable bloodline has thinned out. Not even my parents are four goblins. I don't really know how it all works, but I definitely see myself as a human even if nobody else does. This is the infamous Vedables. Mum and Dad. Vedables from my dad's side. Lorax Vedables. And this, this is my mum. Tree flicks. Tree flicks funnily. When I was 15, they both tragically died during an accidental goblin hunt where they were found and burnt alive. That doesn't sound very accidental. Well, no, I mean, it was a goblin hunt, but they, they were after another group and just so happened to find my parents on the way back from the library. It's just a bit of a misunderstanding, really. How would you best describe society's attitudes towards the goblins? Oh, much better, yeah, much better. I mean, I get heckled a lot still, and I can't really go to many places during the day, but... No, yeah, there's definitely improved. I mean, we're not far off being seen as equals, which is a bonus. Today we're at Pembroke House to meet with an expert in goblin history. Excuse me? You're kind of not perfectly on this property. Oh, I have a meeting with Harold. That is not my issue. Please leave the frame. The team were finally granted access to Harold and his archives. As you'll be very aware, there has often been a stigma against your kind. A lot of family may have gone into hiding or been buried alive. Now, if you'd like to take a look at this pristine document, do you know what this says? Lorelex Thumley, born in 1998, city of Salford. At least I think that's what it says. My, uh, my Gruliac isn't very good. <laughs> is she the question mark? Is she still alive? Yes, I believe she is. Sadly, she may be your last known recorded living relative. Here's a closer photo. Oh, that's really interesting, that. Thank you. Cheers. Nice one. I mean, it's really exciting to know that there's somebody else out there just like me. But I'm not getting my hopes up just yet in case it's a prank. But it'd be really nice to know that I'm not alone. I got it! Go back to where you came from! Just ignore them, it happens quite a lot, but they won't do anything because you're hey, here. You've been the rest of it. Yeah, no one wants you here. Hi, you must be Laura Lex. It, it, it's Lauren. Sorry, sorry. Uh, hi, Lauren. I'm, I'm not. Hi, no, I'm, I'm Lauren. It was nice to find out that there are others like me. She wasn't half goblin, but her whole family was. She doesn't really want anything to do with me, but wanted to let me know that my people exist. It is hard being without a family and not really being accepted by everybody else, but I guess I've sort of found out who I am. And even though I'm alone, 
i'm not in a way.